And we got bananas in chat from Ultimate Badass Andy Huxia, Birdie, Jason Fire, Virgin Amiga, and the names are off the screen straight away. Goodness me, there are so many bananas here. Uh, the Nine Gods, Spare Grissin, Pony Butts, Paper Cat, Kanichio Monster, Half Trooper, uh, Denkawu, James Troby, Melody Howard, Half Trooper again, Gickman 11, and Dej Dejki I. Oh, I can't say that name. Uh, thank you for all the bananas in chat, peeps. The bananas mean that we're live. If you're watching this on the second channel, um, then this is being streamed on Twitch. Not right now, because you're watching it. I don't need to explain these things, do I? Hi, everyone. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Gickman says he noticed me. I noticed a name in chat. You know, that's that's what I noticed, that, that you had attempted to communicate. The communication was successful. So we've got noises in the air. Cool and Krazzy has subscribed to the channel. Thank you for subscribing, Cool and Krazzy. Cordestian has subscribed as well. I appreciate these subscriptions. Thank you for doing that, peeps. The support means a lot. I do enjoy doing this, you know. It's a lot of fun. I hope you're all going to have a good time at the stream. Manx Boy resubscribing for 14 months in a row, saying, Hi X, been a while since I called a stream. Uh, glad I got to see this one. I'm glad you're here as well, Manex Boy. Thank you for continuing the support. 14 months, incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. So, we have a farm on this side. We have a farm on that side. And on that side. Now we need one over here, don't we? That's that's exactly what we need. Uh, and straight away we discover stuff. Oh yeah, pool of water. I remember that from digging in this area a long time ago. Memories of digging a hole on the Hermitcraft server. Right. Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. Um, what are we going to talk about today, peeps? I was really in the mood the other day to talk about um, stuffs. Like, every now and then I get into my opinions on, let's say, you know, the world, world views, things like that. Uh, I was really wanting to talk about it a while ago. And I didn't, I, I had some other stuff going on in my stream, so I felt like, nah, now's not the time. And then today, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to talk about in the stream. And and I don't feel like I'm in the mood to talk about worldviews and stuff, but maybe some of you will inspire me. Uh, What's the music, says Yejods. Uh, right now, we're listening to Byrocratic, and the pre-stream music was Marvin Gaye with What's Going On, from one of my all-time favourite records uh, of the same name. Highly, highly. It's a 10 out of 10, okay? I highly recommend you take the time to listen to that album. It's beautiful and wonderful. And uh, ever since I heard it, not so long ago now, oh, it probably actually more like five years ago, I don't know. It's probably been a while, but ever since I heard that record, I was just like, wow, this is this is an incredible piece of music. Uh, are you drinking tea, says Gickman. We're, get, we're going straight into the deep end. We're going straight into the deepness in today's discussion, peeps. We're going to be discussing tea. Um, no, I'm actually drinking a... Uh, herbal Chinese throat medicine drink thing again. Uh, I really actually enjoy it. I don't, of all days, I actually probably didn't need it today. Right, looks like the inventory's filled up. We, we know how this goes. It fills up quickly. Uh, what's that? Oh, well, well, I picked out a chocolate box. Wait, do these all have stuff in it? Okay, I thought I was carrying around empty ones with me. Get in the, get in the box. Don't complain. Marvin Gaye is more like 11 out of 10. Absolute love, says Spare Grissin. Couldn't agree more. More like 12 out of 10, I'll say. More like 12 out of 10, Spare Grissin. I'll correct you there. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, X, do you put milk in your tea, says Melody Howard. I put a bit of soy milk in, just a little bit. Pony Butts pointing out that the hot bar is off the screen. We'll always need a hot bar reminder. Uh, how far is it if I could get rougher preview? I think if I drag it to about there, it'll be pretty good. There we go. <laughs> My tea today is absolute rubbish, says Charlie Panda. Make another one then. Jeez. Actually, don't. Save the environment. Goodness me. Don't make too many cups of teas. Ponybutt says my OCD is going to go nuts. Yep, but I, t I tell you what, ain't, ain't it ever worth it? Ain't it ever worth the time getting worried about stuff like that? Um, it's cut off because of the bar at the top of the screen. That's why, if that makes sense. But uh, on Lost Souls, because I only stream that, I configured it so it would run at the correct size. So that's why there's like a difference there. X, any more packs you're looking forward to in the future, says Surprise Tulpa. At the moment, I'm actually, I'm actually, I, I, <laughs> I'm going to use strong language, ladies and gentlemen, but brace yourself. I'm getting a bit sick of uh, modding <laughs> at the moment, to be quite 
quite honest. I, I just I've had had too much of it, and I feel like when you play a lot of modded, it takes away that part of the game where you've you, like your own vision for things comes out of you. Like you could call it creativity. You can be creative with mods, you know, um, but it takes away from what vanilla seems to push you in the direction of, which is coming up with your own stuff a lot of the time, you know. And I just feel like I want I want to be able to get back into a groove of doing stuff in vanilla. Uh, Pony Butt says I'm so offended that language is a little strong for me. Yeah, I use the uh, I use the S word. I'm sorry. Uh, Yijod says, "What are you doing right now, X? We're just digging out an area. Um, on these streams, what I like to do is grindy stuff. Okay? If you if you came here thinking I want to see X build a mob farm, I want to see X, uh, I don't know, d do some building. No." Okay, I've learned my lesson. It don't happen on stream. I need to, I need to dig holes on stream. You know, that's literally it. <laughs> oh, X, do you like Linkin Park? Says Gladius. I do like Linkin Park. They're they're a great band. They were huge when I was a kid. You know, so they've got that kind of that that fondness. Everyone's got that fondness towards things from their youth. Gab Kez says, "What do you think about energy drinks? I think that they are bad for you." Here's what you should drink, peeps. Lots of tea and lots of water. But in, in reality, you know, water's... Actually, tea's pretty healthy, but water's, water's all you need to drink. You know? I need to do a little bit of counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll probably go back by like 12 blocks. That should give me plenty of... This room's gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> Very simple and plain, but it's good. So, a little bit of information for you. Now, for those of you that tuned into the streams before, you, you're probably sick of me going on about healthy stuff, but... This is what energy drinks are, okay? There are leftover products when they make other things, like, uh, let me think, like, you know, teas and coffees that require decaffeination. They're leftover with lots of caffeine. Um, they take all of those leftover products and they just chuck them into something uh, that, you know, gives you a sort of, like, stimulates you a bit because it's full of caffeine and all sorts of other weird chemicals that they're supposed to take out of other foods. And then they package it up. If you look at energy drinks, think about how much goes into the packaging, the look of it. And that's because they're trying to sell it to you, because you don't need it. You don't need it in your life. It's not good for you. Um, and they're trying, to, they're trying to make money out of something that they are required to take out of other products. You know, I said I wouldn't go about it for too long, that's it. Just, just have a little think about it, and if you... If you do find yourself, you know, you drink lots of energy drinks and you feel a bit groggy or you don't get going in the day until you've had an energy drink, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little secret. Drinking lots of water and getting lots of rec regular exercise, that'll do wonders for your energy levels. Like, uh, you know, if you need to pull an all-lighter, you, you can do it if you're, if you're in good shape. You know, it ain't no problem. If you're drinking loads of energy drinks every day, you're going to fill your body with rubbish. That's the way. <laughs> The Unbreakable Bedrock says pure sugar and stuff. They do have a lot of um, of sugar in them, that's for sure. Uh, Ponybutt says, here of donations saying, why Marvin Game in the pre-stream? Marvin Game can only mean one thing. You're supposed to be pure innocent bean. My brain can't handle this. Stop it. We don't need a malfunctioning horse brain. It struggles enough as it is. Pony, I think you need to embrace the Marvin Gay. I think you need a little bit of gay in your life, if you know what I mean. But uh, thank you for the donation. I appreciate the support. I saw your message in chat before, <laughs> saying you don't understand why I like that music. I was, I was like, what pony? I love all sorts of music, don't you know? Okay, so there's like a, there's like a, a free bit back there. So it goes back by free, one, two, three, and then let's just knock it off there because, yeah, that's that. I will not be embracing anything. You're making it worse, this pony. I'm serious. Don't look for reasons not to like music. Look for the reasons to love it. And then maybe you'll hear what's so wonderful about his music. Asuma, can you put whipping cream, like the milky stuff, not the whip stuff that goes on cake, on your tea, uh, then you add maple syrup to the tea, and then it tastes pretty good to sip. That, honestly, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of cream. I'm not a fan of whipped cream either. Uh, I know sugary stuff can be tasty, but I, I keep sugar out of my diet and uh, it helps me enjoy, you know, stuff like tea a lot more because I can taste the tea, not the sugar. And that's why tea is nice, it's got a good taste to it. 
I'm dying. I don't think XY gets on flipping out, says Pony Butts. I, I actually I actually don't. I actually don't know why you're flipping out, Pony, so uh, <laughs> you'll have to enlighten me. Right, we also got a resubscriber. It's Sinji Bob here, resubscribing for 21 months in a row, saying my subscription is old now uh, now old enough to apply to adopt a child. What? Or perhaps a Twitch baby. 21 months? You, are you thinking 21 years? What was this about applying for adoption? Sinji Bob, I've got no idea where you're coming from there, but I appreciate the support. Thank you for sticking around for so long and putting up with me. The Suma, how's your day been? Says Oh Manny Gamer. It's been alright. Um, had a meeting with a YouTube rep today. That was uh, helpful. That was good. And then just been playing on Hermitcraft all day and felt like streaming on Hermitcraft as well. That's been my day, you know. Just, just, just a day. Nothing, nothing too special happening. Hey X, why does Cuplex talk with you through a mic? on Lost Souls would be much easier to communicate. I think the way me and Cuplex communicate is fine. I also, I like to I like to be the one streaming when I when I stream. I don't usually have uh, other people on the mic or, or however you want to word it. This is my time. <laughs> you guess what I'm saying. The Dark Legends says you got hacked. Oh no, I got hacked. Oh dear. I don't know what that's about. It's funny because when you were talking about energy drinks, I got an ad for five hour energy, says Guided Night O. Uh, if you're on Windows 10 and you haven't disabled Cortana, it will be listening to your microphone. Um, potentially it heard it that way and then it will advertise stuff it hears to you. That's, that's, a, that's a true thing. Jay's on fire says, could you share anything the YouTube rep with us? We'd like to know. Um, nothing, nothing major. Like there, there's, I've not been told anything that's you know groundbreaking YouTube news it was just it was just boring analytic stuff you know uh, learning how to um, understand how traffic comes to your channel and how to increase it and you know it's, it's kind of like stuff or always know but it's always good to have the meetings it kind of refreshes your memory and every now and then they point out some more new stuff and give you some more information it's it's good it's good that they do that Right, now I need to, I, I think I'm just going to throw away all of this stuff because uh, I've got too much of it basically. I mean I have dug out a ginormous hole in the middle of my base and so now we are forever collecting stupid amounts of materials that we don't really need. Do you know we did that great build last season with Hermitcraft using granite? Uh, with Hermitcraft? With Rendog. That was a good build. Uh, just let just let them listen to my mic. They're lost when they see the internet history, says Rapand. Well, that's another thing that Windows does. There's, there's tons of spying in Windows. Highly recommend you learn how to disable the stuff. Um, but yeah, Catania is one of them, I guess. Why are you digging a hole, says Adam Kate. Uh, so I can build a redstone-y farmy thing in it. I don't know what I'm going to put in here, okay? Pumpkins and melons would be the logical thing, but they, it would be a useless farm. It would be like, alright, we need a farm over on this side to finish the base, or to finish this layer of the base. Uh, what is, you know, what are we going to put here? If anyone's got suggestions for something, I don't want to do anything with villagers. Uh, like, I don't want to install those villager farms. Not much point to doing that, I don't think. Loved your latest guitar video, X. That was really the first take, says Sinji Bob. Yes, it was. Apart from apart from a couple of like practice starts, just to get used to when the track was going to start, because I have to sort of look at the screen from a distance and kind of guess when the song is about to start. Uh, but yeah, I, what I, what I did with my latest guitar video is I played and recorded my warm up, and I warmed up for about 90 minutes, so I was really really quite comfortable, and still still not terribly comfortable, you know, playing uh, let's say loose. Like I was a bit tense, you know, like. You would be when stage fright. It's like that, you know, you're recording yourself. Um, but yeah, I've warmed up for 90 minutes. And then I kind of just felt like I was really getting into the songs. And I was like, right, and what song do I really want to play? That one. Perfect. Let's let's record it and upload it to YouTube. And that's what I did. And uh, yeah, the guitar's coming along really well. I've kind of nailed battery now. Like, I'm, I'm struggling to get the, the timing of the riffs down in terms of, like... 
like a, a, quite a few Metallica riffs do this. They don't just sort of play the riff. The riff has lots of changes or has lots of interchanges and Battery is one of those ones where although it's got like main parts of the riff they kind of come at you in different places and I'm having a bit of a hard time playing it all the way through remembering where those changes are but I'm pretty much playing it full speed. Um, I'm thinking of uploading... No! Don't throw away Dark Prism Ring! Oh jeez. Oh no, what have I done? I'm thinking of uploading a video of me playing the Battery riff at some point. Like a sort of miniature miniature progress update type video. I wish there were a quicker way to do this. There is. <laughs> Why have I only remembered that now? Jeez. Uh, Angry K9. None other than Angry K9 is here. Resubscribing for 34 months in a row. Saying two months away from three years. That is absolutely true, isn't it? Jeez. We're going to have our first three year sub soon. Saying, uh, hashtag blame the cat. Don't upset I Love Cats now, jeez. Uh, Angry K9, thank you for your uh, continued support over the years. I know it's been way longer than just free, jeez. But uh, appreciate it nonetheless. Fuxios says, uh, Chorus Fruit Farm. Yeah, I think I'd, I think I'd like something redstone and automated. Uh, throw suggestions at me, peeps. I have this horrible habit of spending a little bit too long talking before I look back to the chat for the suggestions. Mmm. Uh, Lego Tomb, I've read your message there. Just want to say, don't don't be afraid to like move on and change for life. That's how that's how things are. What things that are once a passion might not be in years to come. I, I'm glad you enjoyed what I've done here for all this time watching Minecraft. Y your Jod says this is so satisfying to watch. I'm glad you enjoy looking at a screen with someone not even moving. That's because I'm drinking my tea. <laughs> Wheat farm, cloning farm, mushroom farm, sugarcane farm. I've already built one of those. With observer blocks for automation, says Punk. Meander, you're going to love the farm on the other side of this base. It's exactly that. Yeah, I do want something that's... I don't want to use villagers, and I'd like to um, have it automated. Someone says potion brewery, yeah. Uh, Manly 12. Not particularly interested in the potion brewery. There's actually not too much that I want to do. Um, in this space other than get a farm in this space like I haven't done any potion brewing stuff really this season It's because I did it all last season. It just feels a bit You know like I want to find a fresh approach to stuff and right now the base is kind of like nearing completion So I really want to find something to go in here. Uh, Netherwart is a good suggestion actually Ed Network. I like that What are you gonna do with the dungeons says uh, I screwed up they're already gone no dungeon. Well, remains of dungeon. And you can't see the remains on that side. Farm string, says Mycelium Shard. I've already done a string farm. Pumpkin Melon, says Tibmouth. That's, that's the one I was initially thinking of. Yeah, that was the one I was initially thinking of. Try Nether with Shifting Soul Sand Floors. You know, the thing about soul sand is once you've shifted the floors, you can go in and you can run a track underneath. So there might be a design idea right there. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, you know. Not a bad idea at all. Also, there could be some interesting opportunities to... Oh, since it's a nether walk farm, we could decorate it with... Um, we could decorate it with red nether brick. Now we've got to be careful here because there is actually some red stony stuff over on that side. Okay, looks like we've got an idea. I think nether walk farm is a, a good idea and if we were to build a potion setup, we would need that set up first, right? Yeah, I reckon I reckon there's some good ideas we've got going on here. Yobsidian farm says your job. So Yobsidian? Never heard of such a thing. Assume a dab on them haters, says Fire Builder. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's everywhere. I don't know if you're sarcastic or not. I hope you're sarcastic. Uh, Ponybutt says, I've got to say, I love red nether brick next to purple. That might be a combination to go for. 
The problem with farms is that we try to make them as efficient and as compact as we can, but we end up with much leftover space. Maybe making them bigger than they could be would be an efficient use of the space it occupies. Um, I, I see your perspective, Swiss Pitbluck. I think, I think the way I'd word what you just said is like, when we get efficiency as our main priority, we can exclude other things that might be as interesting or as fun to do. You know, um, I like it when you you've got a farm design and then you're thinking, how can I make it so the player can use this AFK? Like, because I can make I can make my computer sit here and hold down right click, right? Can you hear me clicking? Like, it can simulate doing that. So then it's like, how can we exploit that and you know do a different type of farm design? If we're always going to think about efficiency, we're going to miss out on opportunities to do that. So I think it's about looking out for other opportunities, but. Um, I reckon what I want to do is a shifting floor one, right? If I if I have it, so you press the button, the farm activates. Maybe we can make it activating in, in like succession as well. So it goes from one side to the other. And then the minecart goes underneath and picks everything up. Yeah, I think that would work because you, the player, has to go and replant it. So you can pick stuff up, but... If you leave something behind, don't worry about it. If your inventory's full, don't worry about it. There's a minecart going back and forth. I reckon that could work. X, you should try and make a stone generator. It's harder than you would think with random ticks. Yeah, it probably is, actually. It probably is harder than you think. So if we were to go for a similar shape room like this, uh, imagine that this is the floor. Can we, can we put carpets on top of pistons and keep them there? Is that a thing? Let's go... Uh, Put this down. Wall will be the one. Uh, we also got a noise in the ear from Spaceman Mark here, resubscribing for 21 months in a row, saying hooray! Hooray, buddy. Thank you for your 21 months, man. Appreciate that support. Hope you're enjoying today's stream, and thank you again for the resubscription. AFK Tree Farm, says Darth Vader. I, uh, I built that last season. See, this is the thing, like... I feel like I want each season to be different, and so a lot of a lot of projects. Ah, that's good to know. I'm surprised that doesn't pop off. I was kind of half expecting it to pop off, but it doesn't. So that's good. We can do that. So then we're going to push soul sand back and forth. Um, that's. Oh, let me think for a second. Let's, let's just simulate this. Sometimes simulating is easier. So we'll actually even use soul sand. Gonna need a power source, right. So we've got this to push across. Oh no, no, this would, uh, would it work? Oh, I'm really not sure. I think this is how we'd have to do it, okay? Like that. So we can push. Yes, right, because if it weren't for that block, it would be an air block, so that would pop off. We might also then, can we do the same thing at the other end? I've got a feeling we can't, unless we double up, no. So if I want if I want to have this perfect edge like that, uh, that might. Right, it won't, because then it's going to retract, yeah, and then it pops off. I guess, I guess that would just be soul sands that you don't see. Right, so you only need it at one end, so... Well, actually, I can just continue the experiment here. No. Yes. Wait. No, I'm confused. Um, I think what I have to do is this. I think you have to have that, right? So, this is, this is the bit that you can use. Right, now for visual effects, we're going to have one soul sand there, so when we extend, okay, it goes like that, and then when we retract, it goes like that. So even though we can keep the piston on top of the piston, sorry, the wall on top of the piston, um, in order to have it seamless like that, we wouldn't end up doing that.
Uh, make a layer of your base a bunker or something, says it's screwed up. A bunker or something. Sounds like a half thought out idea, to be fair. <laughs> Letty Bear says, hey, so happy to catch you streaming. I love watching your YouTube videos. Welcome to the stream, Letty Bear. I'm glad you enjoy the videos over there. Uh, Kevin Contaras says, hi X, just joined. What are you up to? Uh, doing a little bit of uh, farm designing right now. Feeling some inspiration, you know. That's what I'm feeling. So we can push 12 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, basically, there's like a 3 block penalty. So we can add this thing 9 wide in total. Which means we can build an absolute mammoth nether farm. Now how wide was this thing? 1, 2, 3, 6, 7. I think we'll probably end up going with something like that. 7 blocks wide. How much room would we have to... Uh, how many? Seven, wasn't it? Seven. So, I've got to chuckle numbers now. Five and seven. So, a gap of five, a wall, and then seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five. So, that's a wall. And then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. And another one over there. But we'd have a little bit of leeway room on either side. Hmm. T reminder says Sword Flame. Sword Flame, thank you for the T reminder. It's not a tea, but I'll drink my drink anyway. Tree says Sticky Piston. Oh. I'm going to say no. Um, but no, you might be right. You might be. Yeah, there might be something to that. So if that was Sticky. No, it won't tree because it will create a gap in a different space. When I say seamless, it's so that there's no gap. Like there isn't a moment where all of a sudden you can fall into the farm. And that's something we don't want. Will this farm have a hopper clock, says uh, someone. I didn't get to read the name. Uh, it won't, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, it just won't. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have a five wide area. Then we're going to have the wall. So we're going to have a place for the player to walk will be here. Ah, there's a thing. There's a thing. So that's all right having the carpet there but the reality is something like this right if we were to have the carpet as a border it would have to be right up against this because uh, we don't want to see that block and we don't want to see the piston extending and we don't want to have a gap that the player can fall in so that means if we want to have like a two wide thing at the side we could still keep this but then we want to put something else in there um, I've had a bit of a weird idea. What if we put in daylight sensors? Now, if you clicked on them... Oh, I don't have any stashed away. If you clicked on them, they would mess with the uh, pistons. But my thinking was it's not quite a half slap. Half slap would be the logical thing. Why do you not use water, says Sleepy Peanut? Well, you can build a farm using water. You can build a farm without using water. It's as simple as that, really. Okay, so here's some slabs. So this means our farms are going to look like this. Um, and then you're going to have a wall. So the question is, do we really want to have the the carpet there? I say you might as well. We could put some red carpet in there. It could fit into the theme. I think the, the walkway on the side would feel larger if it were like that. You know? It feels like you're given more space to walk around on. And if we did go for that... Um, you wouldn't need the extra block. So there's a choice there to be made. So we'll leave that where it is. That's what we'll do. We'll leave it where it is. Use slime blocks and push up all the soul sand, says not Putin. Um, that wouldn't really work because slime blocks can only push so many blocks at a time. And this thing's going to be massive. It's going to be a big strip that goes all the way from one end to the other. Anyway, we've established the wall will be here. We've established that we're going to have a two wide walking area, potentially. Like a so. Um, and then we're going to have seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is what I'm talking about with digging, man. This, this, this takes time, all this digging. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and then apparently I just decided to do that. Okay, and then that back there needs digging out as well, because that's going to be a wall. So we need to go back that far. Wow. 
More digging, peeps. More digging. That's why we do these streams, to get all the digging done. You know? Iskel hacked you, although you probably already know, says Sword Flame. Ah, yes. Yes, I, I know about that. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. And I've noticed that uh, Apostrophe Josh has subscribed to the channel. Apostrophe Josh, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate that support. I hope you enjoy the stream. And apologies for being a little bit late. Five minutes behind the notification there I was. Talking like Yoda I am. You know? You know how it works? That's a little too far. Were you on 8 out of 10 cats does countdown, Asuma? Uh, I, I don't believe I was on that, no. I don't think I was on that. <laughs> I was, wasn't expected to be asked if I was on a game show, no. M Yoda? More like Yo Derps, says Tib Mouth. Oi! Oi, you, I see ya. Making me look silly again. Jeez, Yo Derp. It, it's, it's a good one, though, I'll give you that. It's a good one. What should I buy for 10 euros, says Spy Builder. Put it in the bank until you know what you should use it for. Good advice, that is. Just because you've got money, don't try and spend it. Otherwise, you'll have none. You know? Because two weeks from now, someone will say, you want to go to cinema? And you'll go, yeah, but I spent that 10 bucks that I had. I heard a cheeky fellow like you, says Charlie Panda. Oh, uh, just just probably another Brit, you know, just, probably just another tea drinking Brit, being a derp on telly. Asuma, have you ever played Dark Souls? I have not played Dark Souls. I played Lost Souls. I don't know if that counts. Let's use this pick now because the other one's knackered. We're going to have to go to the Ender and repair our tools and stuff. And whoa, glitching into a block or something. Something was happening there. X, can you make a derp map on Hermitcraft? How does a derp map even work? You know, and if if it, if there was such a thing, could you really trust it? Could you rely on a derp map? You know, there'd be a high significant chance that it was it was itself a derp. People are saying pickaxe, pickaxe with Y. Pickaxe with Y. Not sure what that means. I'm not sure. Uh, Vanha21 has resubscribed for three months in a row. Vanha, thank you for resubscribing, buddy. I appreciate the subscription. I hope you're enjoying today's stream. Hanging out. It's a bit of a chilled one here. Listening to some biro. Listening to some biro beats. You know, digging a hole, talking about tea. It's just another normal day for me, isn't it? Ghost blocks. Going to get removed finally, says Tree. Oh, they are. Oh, they're going to get removed. They're going to get so removed, they won't know what's hit them. Let's go and chuck all these things away. And that as well. And you know what? Get out of my life, coal blocks. We don't need you. Uh, I'll tell you what else we don't need. The redstone-y stuff. We're done with that for now. We're done with this. I suppose pickaxe spam was in reference to your pick almost running out, says David. Could be so. Could be so. Maybe there's a bigger delay than usual. Because I changed, I changed my pick over and then... Everyone went crazy. Uh, Neckmocky has subscribed. Neckmocky, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate the support and I hope you enjoyed today's live stream. We also have Okicat12 resubscribing for two months in a row saying, woohoo, two bumps. I wish I was not home sick though. Ah, oh, sorry to hear you're sick. I hope the, hope the stream makes you feel a little better. Takes your mind off of it, you know. Now I'm making you think about it. Jeez, this isn't working. This is a terrible stream. Uh, Surprise Tulpa says, how is Derp.exe doing? And yes, you should play Space Engineers. Oh, apparently I should, yeah, okay. Uh, I see what you're trying to do there. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to test Derp.exe, aren't you? Now I'm going to have a little look on the screen. It looks like it's running okay, because we've got zero Derps. Uh, hey X, is Hermitcraft going to update to the snapshots or waiting actual releases, McLurkey? Uh, we're not going to update to the snapshots. If you are unaware, the snapshots are very unstable. The reason being um, that they are changing over the way that world generation works to a new system and there are all sorts of problems because of it. Like, of all these different snapshot cycles we've had over the years, these ones are bad ones to play on. Like, you might you might find your world doesn't work in the future or something. Um, they've got lots of problems to 
to fix, which is why uh, why both updates have been merged together, because it's going to take so long to do it that they figured let's put the next update on top of it. Which means we get basically one mega big update at the end of it. Uh, X, did you watch the Psychar stream weekends? Those guys are nuts with their crazy projects. Yeah, I tuned in and watched a little bit. We also raided Ill Mango, so... Um, yeah, we, we, we definitely did see some of it. Interesting project. Huge amount of blocks removed. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Uh, Raiden... Raiden your fridge. Are you raiding my fridge? Is that what you're trying to say? It has subscribed... Raid in your fridge. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate the support. I hope you enjoy the stream today and have a good time hanging out with us. All right, 52 and 55. Uh, pickaxe says Yo Jods. People are saying pickaxe again. I don't understand why. Why is everyone shouting pickaxe in chat? 40 now. Must finish this room. That's what I'm saying. We must finish it. Twenty-eight, we're good, we're golden. We're there. Excellent. Boop. Right, time to throw stuff away. Songbird says it's about to break. Nah, the pickaxe won't break. Calm your horses, calm your horses. Is that even a proper saying? It sounds like just something I made up. Probably don't need that carpet as well. Tidmouth says, speaking of servers X, the host of the group server I'm on is having difficulties seeing uh, everyone's reasoning for resetting the world. Any advice on how we can convince them to ditch this five-year-old world? A five-year-old world. I imagine people are very attached to it then. I, I, I don't know. I don't know the people you're uh, working with there or, you know, the reasoning behind it. Um... Yeah, I imagine that's tricky trying to convince people to say goodbye to a world they've played in for five years. So I don't know really what to recommend other than just having an honest discussion about stuff and hope that they see your way of seeing things. Right, let's tidy this up. So 5, 19, 17. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to the end we go. I just thought of that. I just thought of that, peeps. Aren't I smart and clever? No, I'm not. I'm a derp. I know. I know. Hi, Asuma. How is your day, mate? Says Hazardous. My day's good, thanks. It's been alright. Uh, are you going to wait and do the farm in the next episode, said Darth Vader? I'll wait and do it in the episode after the next episode. No, the episode after the episode after next. Yes. That I'll do it in that episode. Is that alright? Is that alright? We're kind of ahead of ourselves a little bit here. <laughs> but Songbird says, X is smart and clever. I detect sarcasm. I detect sarcasm. But he says, don't leave your tools in the end again. I'll, I'll try not to. L please don't remind me about that. I had to press the dirt button for that. I never like pressing that button. Are these projects all finished? I'll tell you what, the bone, the bone farm isn't finished. Uh, Blonde Boy says, awesome base. Thank you, appreciate it. Why do people keep saying pickaxe? You won't pass your spelling tests. I think that's the correct way to say pickaxe. Uh, Surprise Atolpa says, Why are viewers talking so much about Season 6? Uh, are they don't like Season 5 anymore? I don't know why they keep talking about Season 6. Just like last season, we had to wait for absolutely ages to start the next season because people kept talking about it. Everyone, Every year, everyone forgets the rule that every time someone talks about the next season, we have to wait another month. Fun fact, pickaxe is spelt with a Y, says Yai Judds. That's not true, though. <laughs> it's clearly spelt with an I, not a Y. I always thought Asuma was amusing backwards, says Min. It almost is, isn't it? It almost is. Ginsuma, or something like that, it would be. Rapan says, I love people. They spy on me, sure. Newspapers, media in general, and the public. Don't listen to you. But the government spy on you because you are so important. Lol. If you have fame, 
you are the reason to be scared else you just have high thoughts of yourself and how important the stuff you do are I don't know what you just said but best of luck to you I don't know what that meant I don't know what I, I was detecting a lot of broken English there which is some of my favorite English as it goes all right let's uh, let's go for the toolbox and for the food box okay must not must not leave these behind okay elytra to repair pick to repair very good we need food to chomp on I need some food to chomp on peeps is that all right let's uh, take all of this and get everything that needs uh, repairing into somewhere where it can be repaired you know that's looking good let's chuck those up there Alrighty, peeps, you know the deal. It's time to hang out here and, and murder some fools. The fools being the Enderman. And there's already XP here. That's good. I like it. That's very good. Okay, now I'd like to replace that with another one. Feels like someone killed them all and just left straight away. What is the resource pack that allows for the pick to look damaged, says Insta? It is Vanilla Tweaks, which you can find on assumavoid.com. Assume of the murderer, says you, Jods. Only murdering Endermen. They're, it's not like they're real people, okay? They're just people in suits with stilts on. Spangleboo says, oh, I came just in time to see some murdering. <laughs> you see plenty of murdering every day, Spangle. Jeez. Murder fiend. Hi, let's repair the bow as well. Come on now. Elytra's... No, it's not done yet. Bane Silverwing says, hi, X. It seems like... To me, like most of the uh, modded stuff going on now is windling down. Are there any plans for future packs? Uh, as, as I said earlier in the stream, I'm kind of going off modded at the moment. Um, yeah, I just... It's like modded... Modded sort of sucks you into playing the pack every single time. As opposed to playing Minecraft. And... That whole, that whole streak of doing things that are creative. That are you going... Right, there's all this stuff in the game, but I'm going to go and do this. Right, it takes away that. You're always chasing some sort of thing that's in a pack. It's like, oh, this thing means I can do, I can craft that block, and now I can make this block and do that thing, and it's, it's not the same. And I miss that, so I'm going to start focusing more on vanilla again. Alpha, Alpha in binary says, wow, I haven't been here in here for forever. Well, welcome back, buddy. Jack Tex says, Hi, X just came here after making some changes to my Discord bot. It sucks the energy out of you for sure. What, changing Discord bots? I'm, I'm confused. Rapan says, X would say that was broken reading and not my broken writing. And it was definitely broken English. Don't try and flip it on me. I see what you're trying to do there. You're trying to make me look silly. Okay, I do that enough to myself already, alright? I have got laggy items and I do not like it. Because it's making stuff look like it's disappearing. Have you played Minecraft Pie? I have not played Minecraft Pie. Is it edible? Oh, did you see what I did there? I made a joke. I made a silly. It was not very good. Uh, McLurkey says, That's the thing about modded series for me, is that there just isn't much building generally. Yeah, well, I certainly set out on Project Ozone to play differently. If you watch that series, like, build, building a base and all of that kind of stuff, going really well, but then... Just, again, sort of got a certain way into it and sucked into the mods. What on earth is Minecraft pie, says I Live Cats. I don't know, but I want a slice. You know? I want a slice. Isuma, can you make option in Vanilla Tweaks that your health armor and your and hunger to the upside of the screen? I don't think that's possible, Littens is lit live. I think you'd need a mod for that. Alex says, I, I think it's Minecraft on the Raspberry Pi circuit board system. It is, it is. Sorry, I uh, wasn't wasn't actually thinking that. <laughs> I was just being all silly and goofy. Now that is worrying. Wait, oh, it's, it's actually there. See the things I have to put up with. Uh, Hyrek and Dragon says, X, have you ever played this cool game called Minecraft? No, I've never played it. I've heard people going on about it, though. I said... Minecraft, that sounds rubbish. Placing blocks, who wants to do that? Chat's on point today, grabbing every single typo as an excuse to troll, says Estellian. I don't even know. I, I mean, 
There's typos everywhere on the internet, just ignore them. Mega Kirby says, X only streams when I need to do homework. RIP. I'm sorry. This is my time of day for streaming. I mean, on the weekends I stream in the morning, though. The Pi version is a very old version of Minecraft, says Mind Mitch. Very old could be, I don't know, what, a year? Like, how it couldn't, surely it can't be that far behind the other ones, unless it's like only the classic creative mode or something weird. Right, these things are certainly getting there, ain't they? Ilu Cat says, uh, yeah, Minecraft is quite stupid. The only thing worse than Minecraft is metal noise. There's nothing worse than metal. Just a bunch of noise, isn't it? Yeah, it's rubbish. Right. I'm going to drink some water because my throat's getting tickly. It's getting tickly. Mmm. Apparently the pie version is creative only. Someone says it's basically alpha, are you sure? I find that really hard to believe. I mean, that, that really is like, what, eight or nine years ago now. Derp, please, says Blondo Boys. That's not how derping works. I mean, how could I derp on command? It, it, just, it wouldn't be a derp if I did it on command, would it? Gotta think these things through, these, these maddening requests for derping. Rapan says, what is Minecraft Pi Edition? Have you ever thought about learning to program? Where would you begin? How much would it cost? What would you need to get things moving? Uh, I, I, I got no desire to program. No desire. Uh, Kukraskal says, last time I will asked to go, put son to bed. What happened to the UHCX? What? <laughs> you put your son to bed and then something happened in the UHC? I don't know, Kukraskal. It's the only discontinued version of Minecraft, says Gbit. Oh, interesting. Oh, maybe it is old then. I don't know. I kind of pictured it as one of those new, like, Mojang branches. Uh, where did that message go? Uh, Ed says, yeah, I play the Minecraft Pi. It is agonizing, but I love it. Agonizing? <laughs> Agonizing. Okay, it's Alpha 0.6.1 of Pocket Edition. Ah, so it's not Alpha Alpha, it's Pocket Edition Alpha. Huh. It's intended as an educational tool for novice programmers. I mean, the pies as a whole, or do you mean the Minecraft one? So we've got noises in the ear. Uh, Bahadrius has subscribed. Bahadrius, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream today. Having a good time hanging out with us. And Estherang has resubscribed for seven months in a row saying, I'm glad you are having fun playing because I love watching you play. That's awesome. I'm glad you enjoy watching me hang out here doing my derpy stuff in, in my derpy world, you know. In the, well, the Hermitcraft world ain't derpy, but uh, I'm sure I make it a little derpier than it needs to be. Right, now we got Silk Touch and Mending. No, wait, sorry, Silk Touch of Fortune. So that's the spare Silk Touch to go there. I guess the other thing was a pair of wings. Yeah, looks like we're all back to normal. Let's put our tools over in this area. Um, and let's skedaddle out of here, you know. Okay, look, I'm putting them back. Calm your horses down, people saying I was going to forget stuff. Oh, they said I'll forget it. See you later, Pony Butts. Thanks for coming to the stream. That is a lot of Enderman heads. I wonder if there's any more. Let's find out. Actually, there probably isn't, but... Uh, we can do this. That is a lot of button spamming. That's going to hurt my finger. Right, there we are. I don't think we're going to get an Enderman head now. And where does this go? I feel like E. E for Enderman. I feel like I shouldn't be out here. There's also... That Enderman was dancing. There's also Enderman on the roof. I don't think they're supposed to be up there. Uh, Magistical Chance says, Hi, Asuma. Hi, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Tid Mouse says, I was saying you might leave the boxes behind uh, in the hope that you would. Wait, why would you want me to do that? That don't make no sense. Uh, Winx is here resubscribing for 10 months in a row, saying, Wow, where does the time go? So excited to be supporting you for 10 months. Thank you for doing so, man. I appreciate it. Not long to a year now, right? 
and then you'll be like a year of derps, jeez. Uh, Songbird is says, man, the chat is moving fast today. I say meaningful things. They scroll away. They scroll away as if they mean nothing. Your poor words lost into the abyss of the Twitch chat. They should introduce Ender Pearl blocks, says Warlord. That would be a really good idea. I like that idea. I also like the idea of it doing something cheaty, like teleporting you. Uh, but maybe not that much. But yeah, I like the idea of an Ender Pearl block. Just, you know, another building option. Something that would look good with Prismarine blocks, you know. It could be like a golden green. Where are we going to end up? Ha! We're here! That's where we are. We're not somewhere else. We're in the district. We've got to go try a uh, boat jump, peeps. Is the Winter Olympics still going on? I have not caught a lot of the Winter Olympics. I've been catching little bits of it here and there. The BBC have been uploading to YouTube these little highlight videos which I watch. But uh, the UK ain't doing so good. We only got one gold medal, you know. And I heard that it froze. And uh, that, was, that was the beginning of a very bad joke. And I, I had to stop myself. Uh, I went, Suma, you try too hard. You try too hard. Let's uh, let's make a, a boat. I'm not a comedian. Right. Uh, we got a noise in the ear from Mr. K. Mr. K, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it and hope you're enjoying today's stream hanging out here on the Hermitcraft server. Yes, the Winter Olympics is still going, says Gickman. Good to know. Good to know. Actually, you should play Space Engineers, says Liam. There's so many quests for Space Engineers. I don't know why. I don't know why all these people were requesting me to play Space Engineers. Uh, Slushy Bunyan has subscribed. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, Slushy Bunyan. Appreciate that support. Also, Birdie is here, gifting a sub to Charlie Panda. Well, thank you ever so much, Birdie, for gifting the sub. Very kind of you to do so. Also, Charlie, thank you for sticking around all these streams. Been a long time watcher, I know. So, thank you for the subscriptions. Right, peeps, are you ready for a jump through the sky really high? Because that's what we're going to do. Right, I'm holding down forward now. And it was so pants. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on now. This is just making me look silly. I know how to play this game. Let's try again. Let's try it again. Okay. You've got to make noises when you jump, peeps. The Russians are still doping, says Pile of Funk. I think... I think, I think that's something you shouldn't say. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Are they? Are they? That, just, that just don't sound right. This ain't a time and place for that. Right. We're holding down forward now. We don't care about Russians doping. Russian doping, don't make you go faster in a boat, okay? Boat doping does. Got to watch out for those boat dopes. Right, give me those boats. I'm going to put them both up the top. Max velocity, says Sword Flame. Indeed. How do I emote, says Charlie Panda. Uh, if you look at the stuff below the stream, it, it tells you how the emotes work. I want you to use all of them, Charlie. That's your mission. You've got to put all the emotes in one message, and it's got to make sense as well. X has taken X old in the X Olympics. <laughs> I think Iskal might have changed the timing. Hmm. Well, I hope not, because, well, I mean, it was doable the way it was. Hmm. Probably best we leave it alone for now. X, that'll get purged by Nightbot, says I live cats. Nightbot, what are you doing? You goof. Stop purging messages. Jeez. I don't care if they're swearing at them. No, actually, I do. Sorry, Nightbot. Sorry, do your thing. Okay, we're going to fly over this direction. Uh, who's online? Python. Maybe we control Python a little bit. Who's up for some Python trolling, peeps? Who's up for some Python trolling, I said. I want to see some troll faces in chat. Tree says, the UK is slacking medals on the Winter Olympics. Slacking, you say? I don't know about slacking. There's creeper faces here. Is there a python in his natural habitat? Not that this is a natural... Is there is there a python in an artificial habitat? No, there's a, a building on an island. An island that ain't even real. Let's spot the slippery snake. Where is he? Peeps, I don't know where Python is. 
I don't know. Oh, thank goodness for that water. Hey, that reminds me, I've got to turn my sound back up. <laughs> Build a Dorite Island, Iskow Island, head in Iskow's base. This is Python Space Man. It's cool, I like it. Is there a basement? <gasps> There's a basement, folks. Ooh, what is this? I don't know if I should look at these. these is, one of these are Python's secret plans. Ah, it's like a comment of the, of the day type thing. That's cool. Keep up the good work, Python. Python's been doing good work, peeps. Let's chuck that in there. Well, this is humble and quaint, isn't it? I like it. Uh, let's give let's give Python some more blocks, you know. Maybe he'll notice. Maybe he won't. It doesn't matter. Anyway, what matters is that Python isn't here, and this is a, this don't go anywhere. Jeez. Yep, yep, uh, uh. Stupid door. Okay, where do we want to go? Through here, I think. Uh huh. Uh huh. How do I get up top? What kind of base is this? Where's the path? I need a staircase, peeps. I think I found it. This is really cool. Python builds like on a on a small scale. Like like there's a lot of detail and stuff going on in this small area. I like it. I like the style. And then there's some chorus going on. Some big old bushes. There ain't a python here. There ain't a sneaky snake, you know. X trolling python gives him blocks. Let's see if he notices his electrical grid. Shut up! Stop criticising my trolling, okay? It's a good troll. It's a friendly troll. I'll go around and I just put in a couple of extra blocks in people's inventories. Maybe they'll notice, maybe they won't. It doesn't matter. What we have learned is that there's not a python here. Is there, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig, I'm talking to you. No, I, oh, it won't even talk to me. It won't even talk to me. That's it, we're going out of here. Rude pigs. Won't visit again. Troll Joe Hills instead, says Blondo Boys. Yeah, uh, perhaps this time we could be a little bit more prepared. I don't know. Give me ideas, peeps. Something quick and simple. You know, like you grab dirt blocks and you throw them at Joe. But except that's not very funny. So something a little bit more interesting. What could we use? Spegristen says, what if there is exactly the items they need for a project in those chests? And now they have a few too many. Spegristen, I was trying to be nice. Now you're making me sound like a meanie who wants to spoil people's projects. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's whoosh down here. Over to the side. Spin around. Let's see. Anvil. Anvil him, says Jukip. Okay. Jolkip. Jeez, I didn't... No, that, I don't even know what it is anymore. I've forgotten again. Anvils, they said. Oh, these people are cruel. I was thinking of giving him some flowers and a K. He's left the game. Peeps, he knew we were going to anvil him. He knew he could sense it. Oh, you lot on your mean ideas. Anviling people, that's just not on. That's just not on, peeps. X, your ocean is blocking the skylight. It's really weird. I know! I know, I need to do something about this ocean. Uh, Hydrek and Dragon says, Feels like a sumo lives inside a dormant volcano. Uh, don't don't volca volcanoes have, like, lava inside them? Ain't no lava in here. I mean, we're on a peaceful island with a giant ocean around it. Troll Mumbo, please, is epic. Mumbo's not on. There's a snitch in the chat, says Electrical Grid. Uh, add, add to the mob head places, Darth Vader. Well, that's something I was going to come over here and have a look at, right? Um, so we've got a swamp biome. We need, we need like, a couple more biomes for this. This is another thing I was thinking of doing in the stream, is sorting this out. So... We have pretty much most of the stuff done. We don't have an Enderman head and we don't have a Shulker head. So we put those in the end. But do I even want to do the end? It would be a bit of a weird one to do. Actually, I've got, an, I've got a bit of an idea now. I've got a bit of an idea for how we can do the end. The Wither needs to go somewhere. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, lot would go in the jungle. So there's probably already one in there. Okay, a spider and cave spider are going to go in the mine shaft. Uh, Iron golem will go in the villager. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with the sheep head, really. I may end up not putting all of them down, but I've just had an idea for how to do the end one. 
Uh, it's kind of a kind of pretty good idea, actually. So usually you go into a stronghold, right? I'm just thinking there ain't much of a transition here. How do we go from a witch hut to like an end island with a big, big like sphere, black sphere around it? Is what I'm thinking. Ocean biomes, says Cindy Bob. Um, we kind of got some water already here. That we have. There's only there's only like five things that I need to put in the water, so I could dig it down. Yeah, I can I can convert that for what I need it to. So now I'm thinking fake end portal. People are saying. But why would it be in the witch hut? You know, these things don't really need to make sense, do they? So I think I think Tidmouse says cough go to my plot cough. What's the in-game name? Uh, I've got to fire up another Minecraft for that. Anyway, here's my idea. Like, black, completely dark and black sphere. Walk across like a little bridge to the middle and have an end island floating there. The magic of the witch opened the portal, says Kakaki. I like, I like the way you think. I like the way you think. Um, it's, that's good, that's good. So, let's go on to my server. And let me try and get it on the screen for you. Can we magic? No, we can't. Peeps. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, this might take a second. Uh, what's going on? Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yep, 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 yep I got it. Hey! Now let's put that down at the bottom. Hey! We did it, we did it. Okay, play.assumeavoid.com Minecraft 1.12 Where am I going to, Tibmouth? Hey! Hi! I don't believe we've met in game before. What is going on here? What have you been up to? Yeah? <gasps> nice! Come, coming! You've lied to me! Coming soon! What is that about? Jeez! I demand an end dimension. No, this is good. This is good. Um, stronghold though. This is this is a great way of doing it. I did stronghold did cross my mind. This totally works right here. Is there? Is this what you've been doing? Is there more of this? Like, is is literally miniature stronghold? Um, yeah, I like this. This is the way to do it. Just why? How do you get to the stronghold? I I think I think I know how to do it. I think I know how to do it. Uh, I can't go down. I want to go down there. What sort of optical illusion is this? It's quite clever actually. Places you can look at but you can't go. Oh wow, look at this beautiful plot right here. Uh, I think I'm on the wrong side. Ooh. Biome quiz. Quiz me. Quiz me, quiz master. I know all the answers. What's this about then? Hello, Tip Mouth here and welcome to my biome quiz. There are 40 biomes in this plot. Can you name them all? Can you find the structures? Have you found any Easter eggs? Struggling? All the biomes are listed on the Minecraft wiki. I uh, think you got them all. Write up a list and tweet me at Twitter, uh, YCBuilder underscore John. Happy hunting and enjoy my plot. Peeps, peeps, you got a place to come and visit. Play.assumeavoid.com. Take the biome quiz, you know. That's what we get. That looks like a Mario font. That's what I'm saying. I see, I see a Mesa biome. I see a village. Is this a, ca a Chacha? That's like a savannah, although it's got green. For the grass. I guess, no, savannas are green. They just feel like a yellowy green. I wonder what this biome is here. This is the type of biome that you should never build on, peeps. Never build a base in this biome, okay? It's rubbish. 
40 biomes. I guess you might group some together like Extreme Hills and Extreme Hills Plus, right? Oh, there's some big old shape over there. This is pretty cool, I think, right? There's a ravine. I like this plot. This is great. Yeah, nice work, Tipmouth. This is awesome. I see an igloo. <laughs> oh, that's super cool. Anyway, I've got an idea now, thanks to your help, for uh, what we can do. And we're going to pop back on the Hermitcraft, though. But, peeps, if you want to come on the server, it's play.assumeavoid.com, Minecraft 1.12. And when you're on here, if you teleport over to Tipmouth or to Tipmouth's plot, um, then you could take the biome quiz yourself and see how many of them you can get. But for now, I'm just going to stand here AFK, I am. And uh, we're going to turn that one off. And we're going to remove it. And I'm going to turn the sound down as well. Right, so coming back to the Hermitcraft world... What we need is an entrance to the stronghold. How are those usually done? They're literally always holes in... Did you just push me, man? That's kind of rude. They're literally always holes in the ground, right? So why don't we have our very own hole in the ground? I've never been so excited to build a hole in the ground, peeps. Um, but apparently today that's what we're doing. So, I mean, you want it to, be, you want it to feel like a... Cobble. It's always cobble, isn't it? When you find a staircase, it's always cobble. Like early game, so we want that kind of feel. Oh, we could also maybe have like another exit that goes somewhere else. But uh, let's not get too... Hang on a second. Speaking of getting distracted, what is the better way out of this area? Oh, I've left behind supplies. Delicious, useful supplies, people. And there's no cobblestone. What kind of supply area is this? Make a secret cauldron entrance, says AG2760. I like the way you think. That is a great idea. A little bit of redstone involved. I mean, we're not going to do that now that i found another way. Um, but I really like the idea. I really do. Uh, also, I'm going I'm to go back in there and... What am I looking for? Sometimes my brain stops working, peeps. I'm looking for this. Three, five, six, seven. Okay, what we need to make is some leggings, right? that are actually upside down. Upside down leggings, peeps, that's what they are. Um, and we've got a noise in the ear. I need to put my noises in the ear back on the screen. That makes no sense. That makes no sense whatsoever, but that's what it is. So yeah, we're going to have a little staircase. 20 blocks, more than enough. So, um, oh wow, what a name. Seladriel Ador. <laughs> I have butchered your name. I apologise for butchering the name. The butchering of names may happen during these live streams. Disclaimer alert. Uh, thank you for your subscription. I appreciate the support. I really do. I hope you're enjoying today's stream as well. I've been enjoying it. Bam. Uh, I was trying to play stone, but okay. Okay. So we're going to put... There were two blocks. Wasn't there like two blocks and now there's no green or brown light block in my inventory. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Do you know what's going on? I think I know what's going on. Didn't I put it in that gap? Yes, because I thought we were going to put a stair block there. Right. The mystery has been forever solved, peeps. No one will ever wonder about it again because because it's not, not interesting in the slightest, is it? Um, I actually want to dig in a different direction, I think, to avoid other things that are in the area, like underground. So maybe we could... Hmm, not a lot of this feels like a good spot. Let's just Let me just get my bearings a little bit here. We could actually do it off of this area. Hmm, there's an idea. Yeah, I think we'll go from this area. Because uh, the grass is a bit plain, so we can break it up. Have a little bit of this. Or maybe we should make it like a trap door with a ladder. Because then it doesn't take up as much space. Because you need to walk through this thing. That's going to make it feel quite big. Uh, Saladri Saladriel Ador says, Yes, so always enjoy your stuff. Glad you enjoy it. I'm digging that idea, says Sinji Bob. Are you, are you digging the idea of digging a hole? Anyway, let's let's try it out with this quickly because I, I think it's going to require having a long, like staircase to avoid other stuff, right? 
So if we do that, that's not enough to go under there. So it needs to be at least four blocks across. Feels a bit on the big side, that. But then that is where we can start to open it up. Question is, how far down do we go? How far do we see the uh, stronghold and how much space do we need? Put a cave under the ravine, says Sky Legend. I could have done that. Yeah, I could have done it through the ravine, but we haven't now. It would, it would certainly make it a little bit more pleasant. Like, what if we actually ripped out a block here? You can jump to there. Right, so you can get in and out of this thing nice and easy just by lowering that by one block. Yeah, I like, I like the way you people think. This is why we do streams. This is why we brainstorm together, you know? So we can get rid of the derps and get the pro ideas in. Alright, so we'll put back the grass. We've decided that ain't the way to go. So now you can pop all the way down to the bottom of the ravine. Where there happens to be this little cutout. Uh, and you'll be able to see a little staircase going down underground somewhere. And that's where we'll put the stronghold. Very good. So, Vi... Viminit is here subscribing saying don't have the money to subscribe but just wanted to say that I truly love what you are doing and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Well thank you for the lovely donation message there. I appreciate the support ever so much and uh, I am having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a good day too. Thank you again for the uh, donation. It's appreciated. Right. Can I walk down there? I can. I can indeed do that. Now we're low enough down that we could pretty much walk straight into the stronghold, which I think is a good way to do it, because... Oh, do you know what? Now I know why Tidmouth put in those walkways that you can't actually go through, because it makes the place feel a little bit more involved. So we could have uh, our own little walkway thing going on here, and then go straight into the stronghold room. So you might be able to see a little bit of it. You know, you start to investigate from up top. You start going, what's that thing down there? You see a little bit of stronghold bricks, and you know what's going on. Uh, horse Lover has subscribed to the channel. Thank you for subscribing, Horse Lover. I appreciate that. I hope you're enjoying the stream, having a good time, hanging out with us. And thank you for your subscription. Uh, Sil Siljimart says, saw you at Mango stream earlier, X. Yes, I uh, raided him a couple of days ago. It was good fun. Uh, Saladriel Ador. Oh, I'm always going to butcher that name. Says, oh, I had someone write me a custom bucket plugin based on the more mob heads loot table you provided on your website. Works like a top, like a top on my server. Thank you for the permission to use the MPT data. Yeah, no problem at all. Like uh, when it comes to stuff like that, that's. I mean, you don't need my permission. It's, it is nice for people to ask. I think I remember someone asking about that. Um, but it's like you know, I, I'm not really sort of creating anything of my own that's artistically me. It's I'm I'm just sort of taking what's uh, available on the internet and in the game just patching things together so I'm more than happy for someone to turn it into a plugin um right what are we doing next we're going to make some building blocks and we're probably going to move all of this about yeah this is what I want cracked stone yes mossy absolutely give me all of those delicious building blocks cool uh, and then I need to throw away some junk Oh, I never put the cauldron away. The cauldron's going to go over here, peeps. I think the record's skipping a bit. So yeah, we might do a secret entrance with the cauldron to get to the next area. That's cool. I like that a lot. Actually available says, I want to sub, but I'm broke. Well, that's quite all right. Don't you worry about not subbing. I'm, I'm happy to have you here watching the stream. You're more than welcome to. And I appreciate the support, you know, just by watching. Tidmouth says, plot mod update, X is now a tree. What? Uh, I'm being pushed somewhere. I'm not a tree, but people are pushing... People are having fun on the plot while pushing me around. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. I left myself logged in. If you feel like giving me a punch, you can actually do that right now. Right, we'll put a torch here temporarily. So we're going to walk down into this room, which is going to be the corridor. So we'll have uh, maybe a dead end on one side, right? And on the other side, we'll do the stair trick. Uh, in fact, we might 
make it quite long and have the stair trick over there as well. Uh, directly in front of us, we're going to have um, the entrance to the port itself. I'm going to go back actually and have a look at how Tidmouth did it. Just so I've got like a point of reference. So it was, yeah, a couple of steps. A free wide opening. A couple of steps. Interesting. Interesting. X is a pushover, says Kenichio Monster. I mean, I am at the moment because everyone's pushing me, I guess. I guess that's how it works, right? Uh, Cutie Pie Kidden is here, resubscribing for 17 months in a row, saying, Why did the white bear dissolve in water? Because it was polar. Because it was polar. Dissolve? Polar? Uh, thank you for 17 months. Cutie Pie Kidden, thank you for 17 months. Appreciate it. Why did the why did the bear dissolve in water? Because it was polar. I don't get that. Chemistry jokes as a bro speed. Okay. Okay, I don't know my chemistries. Alright, I don't know about them. Right, uh, so this is gonna be free wide. Uh, we got a donation here. Noise in the ear from none other than Spanglebooth herself. Span Spanglebooth, goodness me. Spanglebooth. Jeez, the words. Oh, Spanglebooth says, your butchering of Celadrior door, ah, reminds me of the phrase Celador. Did you know uh, this phrase is known as one of the most beautiful in the English language because of how it sounds. Celador. It does actually. Yeah, no, it does sound uh, a little nicer than usual. I think Celador sounds really nice. Almost as good as Spangle. I think it's way better than Spangle. I don't know about Spangle. That just sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Celador. Yeah, it does. It does. Celador as, as compared to... Right, mate. You know, I think Celador sounds nicer, doesn't it? Sounds a lot nicer. I'll give you that one, Spangoo. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate the support as always. Connor McKay is here throwing bits at me. Goodness me. Throwing things at me, are ya? Doing a cheer, throwing some bits. Uh, saying, cheer, 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 cheer. I don't have the money to donate to you, uh, but the Twitch advertisers do. <laughs> I'm glad you're getting back to your base since it needs to be finished before Hermitcraft Season 6. Enjoy. Your bits and have a great day. Now, Connor McKay, I appreciate the bits, I appreciate the cheers, but you've made an error of judgment there. You've made a huge assumption. I mean, who says there's going to be a season six? What if we decided this is the world we're going to play in forever? You know? What if when the aquatic update comes out, we just go move to a new area? You know? So we can always come back and visit the base again. Who knows? It might be season five forever now. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just being trolly. I mean, I'm known for not being trolly. That's that's another thing. They go, that assumer, he never trolls. No one ever said that. I apologise. Right. Connor, appreciate the um, the bits. Thank you for the support, man. appreciate it. How tall was that thing? Let's go... Right. I'm in a room with some strangers who are... Fl oh, you got to see this. You people have got to see this. I, I just removed it from the editor, though. Ah, what a, what a fool. Hang on a second. How old your horses? Calm down. Calm down. We'll be here in a second. There it is. There it is. Oh, you can see it now. Uh, I'm in I'm in a dark place with some strange people. You know, who are making fireworks. You know, we've got a stormtrooper. We've got a purple gorilla. And this fella. I don't know what's going on, peeps. I do not know what's going on. I'm supposed to be live streaming, but I'm, I'm, I'm in the twilight zone. Hi. Hi, who are you? Oh, goodness me. Just two little blocks and then a, and then a ring of slab, slabs. That, that'll give me like a reference point, the ring of slabs. Right, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off this madness. Let's get back to the normal stream, peeps. Oops, I broke a block. I broke a block. Whoopsie. Skip season six and write to season seven, says the nine gods. I like that. I like the way you think. Do you use slobs for streaming, says Saladriador. I'm going to Celador. Can I call you Celador? Um, yes, I use slobs. Beta. Beta edition. That is what I'd be using, you know. That's what I'd be using. Um, let's throw you down. Grab the sandbox. Open the sandblock thing. And get ourselves some uh, slabby jabbies. Because we like slabby jabbies. Right, there we go. 
Uh, we got more noises in the air. More noises. How can I keep up? There's too many of them. Uh, Slil, Slil, <laughs> another butchering of the names. Uh, Slil J Mart, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate the support. Also, Gertha Sir, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it. Hope you're both enjoying today's stream, hanging out with the derp, doing derp things, you know, living that derp life, you know. That's what Tupac used to sing about, wasn't it? The derp life. I know you know what I'm talking about. Shut up. He wasn't saying something else. He was talking about the derp life. I'm telling you, it was a metaphor. Prank false. Prank false, says the only real turkey. Prank false, they said. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to doing this little project. I like it. We, we, we made like a really nice... Well, I say we. Tidmouth has made a really nice room down here. Good job, Tidmouth. We, we really enjoyed this stream. I'm going to skip back to the other world. Uh... I, I keep getting pushed into this dark room. I'm going to block up the dark room. Okay, I'm going to let the people escape. Then I'm going to block it up. Ah, oh, so there's even lava hidden in this room. That is so cool. So what we need to do is that and put lava behind it. Wow. Where can I get some lava from? I need to destroy stuff. I mean build. I mean build. That's what I mean. Do you have a silverfish head, says a bro's feet? I'm not sure if I do. If I have, it's probably already been placed. Uh, hashtag prank false is in chat. There'll be no pranking of the false. She's probably streaming, which is a bad time to prank someone, you know, because because then people will tell her in her stream. In fact, yeah, we're gonna go prank false. No, no, I just remembered. I've got this really great idea. Oh my god. Oh yeah, no, no, I've actually got this really good idea for pranking someone on a stream. I can't believe I forgot about it. Oh, oh, this is gonna be epic. Oh, she won't know what hit her. She'll have no idea. Uh, I just need to grab. Hang on, let's let's finish this, then we're gonna go. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be good, right? She's not streaming. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna prank false then. No, no, there'll be no pranking of false peeps. She's not streaming. They're telling me now she's not streaming. What is the IP to the stream services, Chronix? Play .com. You need to be in 1.12. Uh, if that doesn't work, by the way, plotworld.assumeavoid.com is another IP address you can use. So down here, we need some lava. We need lava there. Uh, we need lava. There's, there's too much lava. Nope. Stop. Hang on. There's too much lava. Uh, we also kind of need it just over in that space. Hey, there we go. There we go. I need a craft. I got. I knew I had a crafting bench. I knew I had one of these. Uh, wait. What am I crafting? Stairs. That'll do very nicely. Uh, those stairs are in the wrong place. Sorry to tell you. I hear the groaning of a zombie. Oh, we haven't used any mossy yet. That's a good point. Okay, there's the lava. Sorted. So yeah, we've got our very own little stronghold down here. It's looking alright, isn't it? X is so indecisive, says... Hi, cool and dragon. I am, I am, I know. I'm an indecisive sausage. Not that sausages are indecisive. Jeez, I'm not trying to try, not trying to label them anything, you know. I'm not that mean. Come on now. Hashtag leave the sausages alone. They never did anything. They never did a thing. Alright, that's some good detail. That's some good detail right there. We got some moldy blocks. You always need moldy blocks. Can't have a stronghold without moldy blocks. <laughs> Cinchy Bob says prank true symmetry. Yeah, yeah. Let's prank the camera account. I mean that that would that would probably make for a good prank if you figured out a way to prank a camera account. Jeez, I got no ideas. None at all. <laughs> Chase on fire says, "X, you crack me up. Go see a doctor, Chase on fire." That's not that's not a normal reaction. Right, I'm gonna go look at the uh, the ceiling in this area. Oh, there's also uh, there's also like glowstone behind iron bars. Yeah, of course. So the ceiling's gonna be flat in here. 
and then glowstone behind iron bars and we've successfully built a little room uh, I'm, I'm really inspired by this actually this is very very cool silverfish head is uh, something to go in this area but for now we're going to cover it with slabs slabby jabs as we've established it is forever going to be renamed to I need a resource pack to do that I literally need the resource pack to call them slabby jabs Hey X, I think that cracks blocks should let light them through. Uh, cracks blocks? Nah, I don't know. Like, the, you got you've got an idea there. I, I'm just not sure if that would be the way to do it. Okay, so iron bars and glowstone are what's. Oh, hang on a second. They need to be higher up. Otherwise, we're going to run into lava. So there we go. Yeah, that'll work. A little bit worried about the lava, but it shouldn't be a big deal. I can hear a zombie groaning this whole time. Apparently, Joe Hills is in chat. Joe Hills says, Modify player.dat file for camera account to move into adventure mode and place it in a giant labyrinth for extra points. Use another account with a Minotaur skin to chase the person when they log in. That is actually a really good idea for a prank is to do an admin level prank to mess with the uh, the player.dat file so someone logs in where they shouldn't be like and I don't know where that would be but then I think some people might not like that because it's a bit not vanilla you know I, I think I think it's all in good fun myself um, right so we're gonna throw some things over there so we've got a little bit more room pick up all of those buckets and we need glowstone which is never blocks, I believe, or is it actually no? It's probably in light sources. Let's have a look. Joe says, terribly not vanilla. Yeah, definitely not vanilla. Okay, so it's in the light sources. I mean, I could could have seen it, could have seen it from there, but uh, wasn't paying attention. No surprise. No one's surprised. Now that is going to look good. It's a good idea to put the light source there as well. So next thing we need is iron bars. So where is my iron chest? Hang on, hang on a second. Hold up, hold up. Where be the iron chest? We got a problem, peeps. Did I leave it over here? I left it over here. Bad, bad assumer. Bad YouTuber, right. We just need four of those, I think. Bam. Uh, no, it's actually four per side. So eight. We need eight of those. That's correct. That's correct. Now I prefer cookies and cream pranks, says Michael and Dragon. Now I want to eat some cookies and cream ice cream. Jeez, I'm actually feeling really hungry now. Oh, no. No. It's not the time of day to be thinking about food. All right. That's looking mighty fine. It's unfinished. But uh, you can come down here and you can go into the stronghold. I like the use of slabs, actually, because you can always go under those blocks, you know, and see that there's other stuff going on. So it kind of makes sense on that level. Uh, I think I might raise up the ceiling a little bit higher. And, yeah, there'll be a corridor on either side. We could put a silverfish head in this area. And then that can lead to the end dimension, which is now going to be deep underground. Now, just before we get too carried away, it's going to be, I think it's going to be well out of the way of anything else. So that's kind of awesome. No X, don't submerge, says Charlie Panda. Submerge? <laughs> I'm not sure I understand that one. I don't understand at all. Uh, I am now in a different place on the other server. What have they done to me? They've done something to me, peeps. I don't know what it is. Troll Scar with a flame blow. Blow. Bro. Blah. God, I can't talk. Bow. <laughs> Uh, do you know what? Scar's got an amazing base. Do you guys want to see Scar's base? Hashtag Scar's base if you want to see it. Because it's, it's wonderful and amazing. Um, that can go back in there. So we've got lights and sandstone. If you're wondering why I've got so many crafting benches on me, it's because I am seem to be forever tidying up project. There are so many hashtag Scar's base in chat. It is unbelievable. Uh, getting a report from Twitch that their servers are crashing. Guys, you've got to calm down with the... With the with, I get it. I get the point. Everyone wants to see Scar's base. 
I want to see it too. It's amazing. It's an amazing base. I think we deserve to see it, you know. Okay, now. We've got any room for any of these in there? Nope. We've got iron blocks over here. Let's package all of this away. Uh, doop, doop, doop. And we'll take this. Nice. Cool. And now we've got to skedaddle. We've got to boom. We've got to get out of here. Got to get out of here, folks. Now, can I navigate from this spot right here? Or will I derp? Navigate or derp? I'm not sure. Navigate. Okay. Now, I want to try that again. Because that was just a big old jump. Okay. We need a proper... Right. Here we go. Yes. Yes, I can navigate out of there. It wasn't actually that bad, was it? It was kind of easy. All right. Let's, let's swoop down through the base that is not symmetrical for some reason. I'm confused. Do we see a random false? I do not see a random false. Therefore, we continue on our travels in this direction. Tidmouse says no. Stop with the retries, you derp denier. Hey, that was that was no that was no retry. I, I didn't I didn't get a rocket away. I was trying to see if I could fly out of there. I wasn't trying to rocket jump out of there, man. You know how it goes. Hey X says Iliad. Hey Iliad, welcome to the stream. Troll Scar while you're at it, says Connor McKay. Now why would I do such a thing? Why would I why would I troll someone, you know? I would never do anything like that. Jeez, I'm not I'm not a troll. This is uh, looking cool. Now, over in this direction is how we get to Scar. The symmetry is false, says Dr. Anvil. The logic checks out, I guess. Pulse is sleeping. She is there, says Sub. Unless she's sleeping somewhere else. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, goodness me. There's a bridge into this area. I want to see what's in the tunnel. <gasps> it's a proper tunnel as well. Oh, goodness me. Scar is a madman. Okay. A Minecraft madman. Look at... What is this? This is not where these things go. Peeps, we're, we're putting an end to this right now. This is unacceptable. You know, this is unacceptable. I need to throw out some ender pearls. I need to throw out some eggs. Okay, I don't want them. I don't want the buckets. I don't want the coal. I don't want the diorite. I want none of these things. I want a simple life. Get out of my inventory. Okay, now we're going to create a little shield around my shulker boxes over there. All, all makes sense in a moment, peeps. We're going to help Scar tidy up here, okay? We're just going to grab these shulker boxes and go put them in a little sorting system for him, you know? That's what we're going to do. Because Scar needs to use the sorting system, don't you agree? This is unbelievable. This is unacceptable right here. I tell you. I, I can't bear the sight of all these unsorted chests. I can't bear the sight of them. This is the ultimate Scar Troll. No lies, says Songbird. This is no troll. I'm helping the man. Okay? The man's got a disorganisation problem that I'm trying to fix. You've got to stop encouraging him, peeps. I'm telling you. There's a machine here that does all the thinking for him. Oh, God. There's a roof on the machine. Right. Now, let's get into place. Scar doesn't appear to be here as well. Okay. Now, he's got one shulker box here. One. It's got to... That's, that's a great star. That is a great star, Scar. Rename that the Torch Box. Okay? And and life will be easier. Life will be easier, peeps. <laughs> oh my god, they are sorted. This is a huge troll, says Mosogi. They are not sorted, my friends. They are... Oh, there's a map over there. There's a... There's more Shulker! I'm going to lose my mind. Oh... Oh, I'm getting angry now. Hold up. Hold up. Where are my ender poles? I do not want to be trapped in a room with these smelly fellas. Oh. Oh. There's a trap. It's a scar trap. He's trying to trap me. This, my friends, is unacceptable. We're cleaning up. Oh. We're cleaning this up. I can't take... Oh. Oh, I can't take it. It all needs to be organised. It all needs to be organised. 
Scar is there, X says Debuchios. Is he? He needs to. He needs to follow my example. I hope this becomes a part of his uh, city. It's a bit of a different theme. I will not get distracted. I'm here to clean up. There's more. I can't escape them. They're everywhere. No, it's too disorganized. Oh, oh, I'm feeling angry. Oh, I'm feeling angry. I, I hear someone. I see you over there. Oh, oh. That was not supposed to be in caps. I did not realise that caps button was pressed. Now I sound rude. I, I tell you what. I think caps was actually suitable. Okay. There we go. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit better now. Oh, feeling a little bit better. Are you guys feeling better? Scar left the game. Oh, jeez. I hope he's not upset with me. This. Oh, I'm feeling nauseous. No. No. It doesn't make any sense. Why, why are the logs in with the wall? I don't understand it. That one's colour coordinated. That's not so bad. Oh, okay. Empty ones. Grass and dirt. That makes sense. Ice and... Uh, this... Oh. It's not making any sense. That's... Right, that's it. These ones are getting sorted too. You know? They need to get sorted in the machine. Check his basement. Oh, do you know what I shouldn't do? I shouldn't let anything despawn. No, that would be very bad. That would be a bad Zuma. Hi. Okay. Okay, I think we've got everything. I'm going to take that one as well. This, this is... I can't... I can't believe the disorganisation. Wait a minute! Is that just for decor? Oh, it's just for decoration, peeps. Don't worry about it. It looks like there's an item missing there. Or maybe it's a drain. Do you know, I love the idea of looking through here and there just being like a, a really like big and detailed build and you can look around and you're like, whoa, so there could be like some figurines of like a monster fighting another monster, right? So you just, you know, you're just minding your own business, hanging out in this world. You notice a little something in the drain. You go over and have a look and like by, by looking around like that, you can see a lot of blocks. Imagine that. You could put all kinds of jokes hidden away in there. Make a clown down there, says Joe. <laughs> that will give some people the chills, man. That will give some people the chills. Sinji Bob says, this is amazing. This base is amazing, isn't it? Right, now, speaking of amazing bases, uh, we need we need to look at it a little bit more, that's for sure. But I'm, get, I'm having a bit of a, a shulker box attack here. We, we need to sort these shulker boxes out, okay? I built Scar the best shulker box sorting system in the game. Okay, in the game. There ain't none better than these, you know. And I, I ain't seeing it getting used. I mean, this machine does all the work for him. It's, it's unbelievable. I think I picked up a lot of these and just didn't put them on this machine to begin with. But this is a hint. This is, this is, a, this is a guide. I'm going to get Scar using this machine now. And he's going to see the joys that are having a sorting machine. Extra inventory is full of boxes too, says Tumbelina. Yes, I, I think I picked up a load and then didn't clear them out. Uh, one thing is height. From where we are standing now, this is a little bit tricky. All right, that's good. Those those are mine, you know, those are mine. They're disorganized, they're disorganized too. That's true. Or maybe I'm a bit of a hypocrite. So someone said there were more under his base. Now, I, I need to find out, you know, how excessive the problem is. Do we mean down here? Peeps, you've got to guide me. Where are we going? Uh, Warlord Wassman says, which makes the sorting not work. If you're talking about the uh, them being open, like open slots, he's got to go through and sort them out for sure. But uh, okay, this this looks no, this is good, this is clean. I'm not seeing a problem down here. Can I get out of here though? Yes, yes, I can. Buy the cows, people are saying. Buy the cow pens. Well, we got the two shulker boxes were there. We, we got we took care of those, so don't worry about the ones near the cow pen. I think they're good. Um, let's just pop up here. Yeah, look, we took care of those, right? I'm not seeing any more. Hmm. I don't know what you're all going on about. 
Wrong place, sex, says Songbird. Oh, jeez, I'm in the wrong place. Well, we're going to go on Shulker Box Patrol for Scar now. Long time I've seen Hermitcraft. I assume B-Dub's left Survivor. Uh, B-Dub's hasn't left. If you're unaware of what's happening in B-Dub's life, he's got a lot going on. He also moved over from YouTube to Twitch for a while. Um, so, I mean, that's, you know, that's a big old story right there. Um, and we ain't seen B-Dub's in a while. We totally understand, you know. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous base. Scar is a madman, I tell you. This is actually wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> it's actually wonderful. Down the stairs, someone said. What stairs? Stairs at the cows. Apparently there's stairs at the cows that I should go down, is what people are telling me. Okay, I'm not going to get caught in the, uh, in the cow pen again. Oh. Oh. Oh no. 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 No, he's too disorganized. Please stop. Oh goodness me. I can't no. Why is it all out? Why is it all random? What is this? I don't know what this even is. Oh jeez. Oh no. No scar. No. Oh, I need to help Scar. I think we need to have like a a sort of fun marathon for Scar, you know? Because I think the guy spends a lot of time gathering resources he's probably already got somewhere. You know? Scar is a lost cause, it's TNT times the tip mouth. I, I Scar is not a lost cause. I will I will figure it out. I will get this man sorting his items. You know? It will happen. It will happen. He needs an intervention, says so thanks a lot. He does. Oh. Oh. It's making me wince. Ugh. At least there's orange in that one. Yeah, that's green. That's colour coordinated. I like the colour coordination. That's a good idea. Sort by colour. Good stuff. Yeah, all good. Actually, you know what? To be fair, a lot of this is pretty good, isn't it? But, oh, it's disgusting. I spoke too soon. No. No. Why is the redstone in with regular building blocks? Oh. This doesn't sit well with me. No. No, it don't. Uh, SGT Sloppy has subscribed. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I hope you're enjoying today's stream. Peeps, be sure to go and check out Scar on YouTube. Uh, if you do a search for good times of Scar, you will find the man who you can have good times with as he builds up this beautiful, gorgeous, wonderful base. Yeah, you should totally take the time to check him out. He's one of my favourites to watch here on Hermitcraft. Uh, but as of right now, this is where I'm going to wrap up today's stream, peeps. I hope you have enjoyed it. I've had a fantastic time streaming on the server today. And we are going to go and do a raid on another channel. So stick around if you'd like to be a part of that. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed, resubscribed, donated and cheered. I appreciate all of the support. All the people watching, hanging out in chat. Thank you for coming by. And uh, we are going to go and raid none other than Trooper Joe. Be Inspired to Build is the name of this stream. Uh, you will be inspired when you see Trooper Joe's uh, you know, whole, whole world that he plays on. It's amazing. Anyway, I'm out of here. See you later, peeps. Bye-bye.